Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh. In this uh, presentation, we are going to discuss about uh, threat modeling frameworks. So uh, in my first uh, presentation about uh, zero trust uh, architecture implementation uh, for AWS, I discussed about uh, a stride thread modeling approach. And uh, I promised you guys that I, I'm, I'm going to come up with uh, 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 more models, more threat modeling frameworks, so everyone is aware about what are the other models available. And those who are new, those who have already used these models, they can uh, comment uh, based on their experience uh, and uh, add more value to uh, these uh, free presentations and uh, tutorials. Okay, so let's get started. So Stride is uh, uh, is. Uh, uh, stands for s stands for spoofing identity t stands for tampering with the data r stands for repudiation i stands for information disclosure d is for denial of service e is for ele elevation of privileges now uh, there are different areas associated with it if you look at the property violated like it covers authentication it covers integrity it covers non-repudiation so for instance uh, claiming that you did not do something or were not responsible can be honest or false okay so that is the threat definition that is commonly used in the organization uh, confident confidentiality in terms of information disclosure so providing information to someone not authorized to access it so that is more of a threat definition so you have your threat definition then you design the solution based on that um, and the area as well for instance denial of service is uh, from the availability perspective elevation of privileges from the authorization perspective so uh, stride uh, basically evaluates the system detail design uh, it models the in-place system by building data flow diagrams stride is used to identify system entities events and the boundaries of the system so stride applies a general set of known threads based on its name uh, as i explained and uh, it has been successfully applied to cyber only and cyber physical systems as well uh, it was actually initially started by microsoft uh, but they don't uh, use it anymore now and it is uh, implemented as a part of or it was implemented as a part of Microsoft security development lifecycle with a threat modeling tool which uh, uh, I'm going to explain in the next uh, uh, presentation when I discuss about threat modeling tools okay Microsoft also uh, actually developed a similar method called dread uh, uh, which means uh, damage potential uh, reproducibility exploitability affected users and discoverability uh, with a different approach for assessing threats now there is one more model which is known as pasta the process for uh, attack simulation and threat analytic analysis so it has got uh, seven different steps so one is define your objective then define technical scope application decomposition threat analysis vulnerability and analysis weakness attack modeling risk and impact analysis and that's how you uh, uh, do the uh, so uh, so there are seven different stages and each uh, with the multiple activities uh, uh, and these activities uh, if you just uh, do a google search if you are working on these applications otherwise my uh, presentation will go uh, pretty long but i'm going to explain one or two for instance vulnerability and weakness analysis so uh, the areas which are included like design flow analysis using use and abuse case scorings of uh, uh, cvss uh, and enumerations of uh, cve uh, threat to existing vulnerability mapping using threat trees uh, queries to existing vulnerability reports and uh, issue tracking now attack modeling is also uh, one of the layers in which uh, you analyze the attack surface and then you develop attack tree uh, and attack library management then attack to uh, vulnerability and exploit analysis uh, using attack trees so these are the things uh, you do vast uh, is uh, 
Vast is actually visual agile and simple threat modeling method based uh, on uh, a threat modeler. Uh, threat modeler is a company uh, or uh, it provides a platform for automated threat modeling. Uh, so its scalability and usability allow it to be adopted in large organizations uh, and uh, uh, it covers uh, almost entire infrastructure to produce uh, some actionable and reliable results uh, depending upon uh, the stakeholders. Uh, okay. Trike is uh, a security audit framework uh, that uses threat modeling as a technique. It looks at threat modeling from a risk management and defensive perspective. So when you look at uh, the trike uh, matrix, it is divided into four parts, uh, one for each action of CRUD, which is creating, reading, updating, and deleting CRUD operation or CRUD operations, however you pronounce it, depending upon which part of the globe you are in. So in these cells, uh, analyst assigns uh, one of the three values like allowed action, disallowed action, or action with the rules and a rule tree is attached to each cell. So once you define the requirements, a data flow diagram is built and each element is mapped to selection of actors and assets. Okay. To assess uh, the risk of attacks uh, uh, that may affect uh, assets uh, through CRUD operations, uh, Trike also uses a five point scale for each action uh, based on its probability. Let's talk about Octave. So Octave means operationally, operationally critical threat, asset and vulnerability uh, evaluation. It's a method uh, basically is a risk based strategic assessment and planning method for cybersecurity. And it was created by the third division of uh, uh, Software Engineering Institute in 2003. And then it was further refined and it has got uh, three different phases. So phase one is build asset based threat, threat profiles. So this is more of an organization evaluation. Then you identify infrastructure vulnerability. So this is an evaluation of information structure in infrastructure. And then you develop a security strategy and plans. So this is an identification of risk to the organization's critical assets and decision making. I guess uh, NIST is a very common framework. Uh, 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 it was uh, designed and developed in United States of America and NIST 1.1 is uh, widely used uh, in, uh, in almost uh, different organizations who are uh, uh, using security concepts or uh, security frameworks. So NIST is very common. There are more like essential aid, uh, but it is not a threat modeling approach. It is more of a uh, it is a uh, essentially it is a is, is not threat modeling but yeah, it's a risk uh, assessment and uh, mitigation strategy uh, so it's different but uh, yeah sometimes people look at that as well so there are there are um, like i know more than 12 or 15 threat modeling approaches but some of them are outdated some of them are new, some of them works very well with the DevOps. So it really depends because uh, organizations are using a mix of it, uh, especially financial institutions. Uh, so there is no one model which is kind of a that one size fit all kind of concept. So it really depends uh, how you want to, uh, uh, what is your business objective and what you're trying to achieve at the end of the day. Okay. I guess uh, this is it from my side. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop in the comments uh, section below and uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.